Samsung Galaxy A54 is a great mid-range device and we've recently released a how-to video on how to use dual SIM cards with it. Today I wanted to continue on a similar thread and work you through using an SD card and some useful tips and tricks. If you want to use the SD card, you have to put it in the second SIM card slot. Unfortunately, if you follow the previous tutorial, you'll have to remove the second SIM card. You can't use both at the same time. I know, tough choice. In my case, after 2 months of using the device, I filled up 3 quarters of the 128GB of storage, so if like me, you have the smaller storage model, an SD card might come in handy. To install it, just remove the SIM tray, make sure that the SIM2 slot is empty and insert the micro SD card, with the pins facing upwards. The phone should support most micro SD cards without issues, but usually the faster it is, the better. Once you're done, you should see an SD card node at the top and the message that the card has been installed. Clicking on it will show you the files you have there. Let's go to settings and all the way down under battery and device care, you can find storage. It might actually be faster to type it in the search function instead. Once there, you have to swipe left to see the SD card. In my case, there were some photos and other files with 3% storage taken. It might be a good idea to format the card, and you can do that by pressing the hamburger menu. Just make sure to save any important files elsewhere before you do that. I actually formatted my second SD card for reasons you'll learn about later, and it didn't take long at all, so it's worth doing. Now that the card is installed, you can go to the file manager and move some larger files from your phone to the SD card, for example larger downloads, videos or movies. For that you can use the Samsung's My Files app, it works well enough. Just find the file, like this recording from Beyonce's concert, don't judge. If you hold your finger over the file, a menu will appear at the bottom, and you'll be able to move that file. Just hit back, pick the SD card and move it somewhere like the DCIM folder or similar. Speaking of movies, you should be able to set the download location for most streaming apps to the SD card. It worked fine for Amazon Prime, go to settings, stream and download, and there you can toggle download videos to your SD card. The same for YouTube, if you have YouTube Premium, go to settings, background and downloads, and then choose to use the SD card or not. No problems with Disney Plus either, under settings, and download location. However, I didn't have as much luck with Netflix. You can change the location by going to settings, app settings and download location. But it wasn't working for me. It kept on reverting to internal storage for some reason. Your mileage may vary, but it failed for me on two micro SD cards for some reason. You should be able to do the same for audio streaming apps. For example, for YouTube Music, you can go to Settings, Download and Storage, and then toggle Use SD Card. The same for Amazon Music, just go to Settings and you can set the storage location to your SD card. It should also work with other apps like Audible or Spotify. For the camera, as soon as you open the camera app, you should get a pop-up asking you to change the location. However, I didn't capture it on camera, so you'll have to trust me here. If you want to change it later, you can go to camera settings and towards the bottom, you can change the storage location. Just remember that you'd have to move the existing photos manually, if you have any. When it comes to moving apps and games, it might depend on the application. You can go to settings, apps, pick an app or a game, go to storage, and there you can change the storage used. It worked fine for Asphalt Extreme and it took around 1 minute and 10 seconds to move around 1.5 GB of data. However, I didn't have as much lag with Call of Duty Mobile. It uses just over 8 GB of storage on the internal storage and despite me having over 55 GB of storage free, it failed with the not enough storage space error. I actually thought it might be due to a problem with my SD card, so I took another one from my GoPro and formatted it in the phone. Unfortunately, despite having almost all of 64GB of storage free, I still got the low storage error. 
Oh well, maybe it's due to the speed of SD cards and the fact that Call of Duty might require really fast transfers, so bear in mind that not all games might be movable to SD. And that's some of my tips and tricks when it comes to using the SD card for the Samsung A54 5G. Let us know in the comments below if we missed anything interesting or if you found this video useful. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks to see more videos, including the upcoming long-term review of this device. But for now, thanks for watching!